today this video it's just a little bit different because a lot of the times when I post a video I'm like guys I've been scammed I've been robbed I've been bamboozled and I feel like finally for once in my life I'm sorry to actually get smart I'm like yes we're saving our coins as we always do and we're just on the lookout here we're basically the internet police and boy oh boy oh boy now that I'm doing some investigating like I did with that Kylie Jenner app that's literally scamming everyone breaking Apple store policies I will leave a link to that video if you want to check it out but I just keep finding out a lot of things I'm like oh Lord Jesus so today's video will be on AliExpress and I actually have a bone to pick with all of you because you guys have been like go shop on AliExpress more. Actually, not all of you, but I've gotten a few comments saying that. And I was like, okay, this is probably a store I'm missing out on. Let me see. Let's see how this goes. And well, it has not been going well. But anyway, before we get started on this video, I want to let you guys know this week I'm going to be posting videos every day. I've gotten to that point. I mean, I know I look like I have something happening in my life, but I don't. So I'll just be here hanging out with you guys. That's way better than doing my laundry, which is the other thing I've been doing a lot of. Oh, is there so much laundry? I mean, we're not even leaving the house. And oh, don't get me started on the dishes. But I digress, I digress. So my whole thing with AliExpress started when I did the Amazon hacks video. And if you guys haven't seen that video, you should definitely go watch it after this video because there's some really cool hacks there. But one of the hacks was to shop on AliExpress instead of Amazon. And I was like, I'm not sure if this is a thing. I'm not sure if this would work, but you know what? I want to compare. So I want to buy the same items on Amazon as on AliExpress and see what would happen. Would they be the same? Would it be cheaper? Would it take longer? What? Let me know if you guys would be interested in that video. But, oh God, I did not expect things to be so complicated. So I tried to log into my AliExpress and I guess I had an account at some point I bought something, but I forgot the password and I tried to get the password back. It was all in Chinese. I'm telling you, there was no little button to translate. It was all straight up Chinese. I was like, ma'am, I do not speak Chinese. I have no idea what this is. But if you got some bow buttons, I'm here for you. I just ended up creating another account because that was way too complicated. And I was on my merry way. I was like, okay, shopping. Just pure happiness and joy. It's just harmless fun. Just some Shopping. Affordable because you're getting it on AliExpress. That's the whole point. It's gonna be cheaper. So I had everything picked out, and when it came time to check out, mm, Lord Jesus, oh God help me. Just remembering this, I'm like, I am triggered. AliExpress. I feel like I'm gonna get like a little eye thing. So it kept saying payment failed, payment failed, payment failed, and there was no reason for my payment to be failing. It was just a payment I used all the time. So I was like, all right, let me try with a different credit card. Payment failed. Literally cards I use all the time. You know I like to shop, and I was like, well, obviously this is not my credit card. That's the issue here. And what it said when it said payment failed is that it was for my security and that I could submit an appeal. An appeal? What have you heard of having to appeal to be able to shop? No, ain't nobody telling me what to shop for, when to shop, or that I gotta appeal so you can allow me to shop. But I was like, you know what? Let me just try this out because I really wanted to do that video where I compared the items because I was like, yeah, whatever. And it says that they'll send me the appeal result in three days. What? Why are you taking so long just to let me use my own credit card? You're not my husband. And here's where everything got very real for me. I went on to the appeal and oh, okay. This is what the appeal is. In this appeal, they ask for a photo of your credit card, a photo of your ID. They ask for your bank statements. They were asking for all sorts of crazy things. Asking for my Costco card, my coronavirus results, a blood sample, a sample of Gordo's back hair. Girl, they were asking for so much. I was just like, so I started to dig. I was like, I'm not about to give y'all all of my information. Who do you think you are? Like, I really need to be at your store. It's not like you're Target and you got Clorox wipes. So I started looking this up and I'm not the only person that this has happened to. And people that this has happened to also find this shade. Because, you know, I would understand wanting to verify my identity somehow. I don't know, send the tags, maybe even a picture of my credit card, but my driver's license, my bank statements. Girl, that's private. And I can already tell you I have no money. So you don't need to be looking in there. So what I was really trying to figure out was if I should do this appeal or not, but I just ended up finding a lot of other stuff. Some people pointed out that this site is from China, so they're ruled by Chinese laws, like TikTok, just saying. So it's harder for them to verify who you are. But I don't know, me and the Chinese government, we just not getting along right now. I am currently not pleased with the Chinese government. Nothing against the Chinese people, love y'all. But the government, on the other hand, <laughs> Mm -mm. So I found a lot of people that had their credit card info stolen from AliExpress, which is crazy. I mean, if you're working so hard to verify I am who I am so I can shop, you would think they would be working hard some other way to make sure your credit card information is safe, your bank statements, and Gordo's back hair. One person apparently had their information stolen only to be used on Amazon. I was like, 
this kind of answering the question for me. If even AliExpress sellers are stealing your credit card information and then just going to Amazon, I mean, do we even need this video comparing AliExpress and Amazon? But here's the real tea. People have had their credit card information stolen just after getting this whole, we need to verify your information message. So I found this person that claimed that after they got the message that they needed to verify their information, they just ignored it, which is what I'm doing. And also what I'm doing with all my bills right now and all those dishes and still their credit card information was stolen. I found some crazy conspiracy theories saying that when you send in all your information, that's there for employees to see. And sometimes it's these employees that end up stealing your information. Honestly, I don't know. I have no idea. I was just doing a little bit of research. I was like, hmm, should I send them my bank statements? And I stumbled onto all this. But I would say pretty much the logical conclusion is to not send anyone your bank statements. That's just what I personally think. But there's other sorts of scams that people have fallen into on AliExpress. For example, this person, they ordered some Thing, and what showed up was not that something. It was a whole other thing. I feel like maybe this was not his first a rodeo, his first AliExpress rodeo, because he opened it right when he got the package. So here we are at the UPS store where I received my packages, my mail. This vendor says, I just received this package, says three pair of leggings, and I can feel. What sort of leggings could those be? The non existing leggings, that's what you got. That there's no leggings in here. Can you open that, Bob Boy? Same thing. Oh, oh my God, they just got like a bracelet. No leggings for you. That's what you get. And let's say you're still trusting the system. You're still out there trusting the AliExpress system. Because girl, I don't know why. Honestly, I don't know. Maybe I need to give it a try. But if something happens with your product and it goes wrong, let's say you want a refund and exchange something of the sort. You're just not really good with those things from what I've found. And I found this girl's story, which I'm just gonna summarize for you because she posted like a 10 minute video with the whole story. But she got sent an item that was actually returned to the seller. So she never got it. It was just in customs and stuff. And here's what happened. Let's have her tell it. So I'm messaging them like, yo, um, I see that y'all got your product back. Why haven't you, you know, refund me my money. Like refund me my money. You have your product back. Can you believe these damn people have not messaged me back? They just ignoring her, just straight up. That's just rude. You asked me for my Costco membership and you can't even reply to a message? What is this, Tinder? So I don't know from everywhere I look at it, I'm just like, oh, this is a big risk. Am I really gonna be saving that much money? I don't know. And that's really why I wanted to make this video. I wanted to get y'all's opinion. What should I do? Should I send them all that information? Maybe I should just try creating a different account and it might have better luck. But have you bought anything on AliExpress? Would you recommend it? Have you had any horror stories? Honestly, probably more interested in the horror stories. I just feel like I need some good tea. I'm just cooped up in my house with all those dishes. I don't want to be reading the news. So just a little petty tea. It's entertaining. I'll admit it. I'll be the first one to say it is. As long as we're not hurting anyone, we're not canceling anyone. And I'm definitely not canceling AliExpress. I feel like I still got to try them, but I am a bit nervous about sending all my information. Honestly, I don't want to send it. Maybe somebody can lend me their account. I tried to pay with PayPal and it was just not available. I don't know, have you been able to pay with PayPal? So please, I need you guys to answer these questions if you have answers. But yeah guys, don't forget tomorrow there's a new video coming. It's gonna be eBay hacks. That one was a wild ride. But yeah guys, thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much. I'll see you in the next one.